want to make sure that you're practicing, it's, your practice session is as musical as possible. The other thing too in practicing, because it's not just a physical thing, it's not just a, um, a, a creative thing, it's, it's all of that, but there's also a certain amount of um, mental conditioning that needs to go in. So when I, you know, one of the things I see a lot um, is that when we get into different musical situations, we have our performance head, and we have our practice room head, and we have our rehearsal head, these kinds of like spaces that, you know, kind of mental spaces that we're in when we're in those sections. And really, everything that we're doing is to eventually get to performing. So, I would strongly encourage whether you're at a rehearsal or whether you're at in your practice room to always try to get to the point where you feel where in your mind's eye you're performing. So for me, every time I sit down to practice, I'm at the Village Vanguard. I am on the stage of the Village Vanguard. I know what it smells like. I know what it looks like. And in my mind's eye, that's what I'm doing. So if I'm going, even if I'm in my mind's eye, I know what that sounds like, what I would want that to sound like in that space. I've got a rhythm section behind me and I'm okay. I'm not, you know, in my practice room, I'm not, you know, there's not any other distractions around me. Like I'm trying to stay as focused as I can. And the more that you do that, the more that you condition yourself to do that, the more you'll be able to carry that to every single performance situation and the easier it will be to get to that spot and again we're practicing to perform so you want what you're playing to sound like something you would perform okay um, any questions about any of this so far suggest to start to 